We're not going to let uh, the unelected Prime Minister trash our democracy the way that the Bullingdon Club once trashed restaurants. I can see an, a real outbreak of uh, violence on the horizon, yeah, really terrifying violence. I never thought as a kid I would be living to see the end of democracy. You got this one wrong, mate. You've galvanised us, thank you very much. Stop Brexit. Today is about people fighting for democracy, fighting for the democracy of our country. I'm an MP. I was elected by the people, for the people. Boris has no rights to take that away from me or my constituents. Tens of thousands, potentially hundreds of thousands of people in London have gathered to say that that's not acceptable because actually we value our democracy and we're going to stand here and defend our democracy until we win. We're here because we do think democracy is important. We've even if you voted for Brexit, you voted to take back control, not to give it to one man. Brexit is part of a, part of a, a shift to the, to the right all over the world, which is terrifying and concerning at a time when the world needs to come together with love and, and tackle the problems that you know, face all mankind. We should be together to face bigger challenges like climate change, economic crisis, overpopulation, all these kind of things. I'm angry about losing people because I keep missing, I uh, keep losing friends moving away because of the situation here, because they feel discriminated. I'm from Romania, I've been here for five years and I love this country but then it kind of like went, I don't know, fell apart after the whole Brexit thing, I had some incidents. I remember the next day I was in my gym and I remember hearing these ladies, it was up in Hampstead Heath actually, it was like not like, it wasn't outside London or something but I remember hearing them talking about the, the foreigners in this country, like coming here, taking their jobs, that, that's kind of cliche, so that really upset me. Uh, I'm 24 so I've only known a peaceful um, island and that's something that's actually, I feel really strongly about, it would just be horrific to go back to something where there could be a hard border. I've never lived on an island with a hard border. I've done what I can to explain it to people, but I think there's a real lack of uh, knowledge about the border issue. And also I think just, I'm not sure that they really care about it that much. We're having this really right-wing extreme governments blocking the, you know, the democratic process. We are the bastion of democracy. We are, we are this great country, the UK, and to not have a parliament that functions and you know, does the job that it needs to do is a disgrace. For Johnson, power seems to have gone to his head. I think if, the best thing for him to do now is back off. People are calling him a dictator. Do you think that's fair? I think it's true. Uh, look, when, a dicta when someone tries to close down parliament for her own political objectives, that's dictatorship. If we allow this to go unchallenged, the precedent it will set is horrifying. We've got to fight for democracy. You do not let unelected politicians who only stand up for those at the top. But the final thing is, we can't go back to the past. 2016 was not some utopia where everything was fine. People were struggling. That's why Brexit happened. My direct mes message to Boris Johnson is, you got this one wrong, mate. You've galvanised us. You should be embarrassed of yourself. That's all I must say. <laughs> Shame on you. You don't have to, the right to do this. It's not your call. Like, you're a tiny, 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 tiny percentage of what people think. It's not your call. It's not your right. Wake up to the reality of the situation. <laughs> Wake up, Boris. If you're going to ruin the country, then please don't smirk. That's what I can't stand. Using the rules to your advantage to actually hurt people in this country, malicious compliance, don't do it. It's morally wrong and that's not the UK that I love and that's not the UK we want to live in.